I'm back, baby! God, it feels good to be home. Man, I feel like I've been gone for a month. I Literally, I've been gone for three and a half weeks. It is so good to be back. Hopefully, programming will resume as normal. I haven't done any Eve Echo stuff. I've been just too busy. But now I'm settling back, and I've still got stuff to settle in. But I am back at Archimedes Station, home, safe, with my proper setup. Everything's back in order. So uh, sorry about missing a few days of filming. Listen, that's just part of the business. I had to handle real-life stuff. I hope you guys understand. That being said, there is some news. I didn't do news yesterday, but we will start live streaming the playoffs again. Uh, win goes off on Friday at, I want to say noon, noonish Pacific Standard Time. I'll put out a banner advertisement like I used to do back in the day. Uh, I'll be live streaming that for everyone to watch, but that's not today's show. Oh, the other news. Uh, there's still an event going on. It's the same event. Nothing really changed there. And uh, as far as what's going on in the community in the meta, nothing changed over dramatically that caught my attention. So uh, if anything major happened, put it in the comments below, and I'll put it on Tuesday, Newsday next week, or email me, or whatever. All that stuff's in the description below. Okay, let's jump into replay of the week. What do we got this week? Anubis versus Voodoo. Wait a minute. Is this the same Anubis? No, it can't be. This is Anubis Rose. Okay. Dragon Slayer Pictor. I like the Pictor build. Uh, you don't see it too often. One slot bust. Tier 9. Crushing Blow. Shockwave. I think he's got it. I mean, listen, it was a bit of a high risk, but the Shockwave should do it. You know, if uh, if he would have missed because he didn't land the Crushing Blow. Remember, Shockwave is not a guaranteed hit. You got to land that Crushing Blow or Sagittarius. But um, nice, nice little hit there. Good seeing Tier 9 get some Tier 12 kills. Wings of Eternity. Look at this Vega with the Risky March. Your mom puts one Ranger up front. If this was a Dragon Slayer, not a Hancock, he'd have been wrecked. But look at this. Okay. All right. Walker Awakening will clear the front row. Now he gets to go. It's a good way to deal with Walkers. Breakdown Scorpio. Oh, any Shockwave? No, no Shockwave. But nice kills there. Nice kills. All right. Got a little value there. Showed the right appropriate march. Everyone should know that march, by the way. If, you, if you're if you going against walkers, just put rangers up front or one unit in the front, and then the awakening will clear it. And then your back row goes first, if they have first strike. Whoa, hold on a second. This is happening too fast. Lando's Hancock versus Crack Chicken. Crack Chicken going with the Orochi main, or is this just simulated? Either way, I like to see what Orochi can do. They definitely are bringing back the defense comm with the new resistance gear. Yeah, YouTube's puffer thing, man. Sometimes it doesn't work so well. All right, it changed the speed to one and a half, so they go a bit quicker. Uh, let's see. Void Skaters, Ether Gens. All right, so Tier 12. Okay, all right. I like Hancock in this, right? That's what we like. Cepheus. Okay, okay, but no no Cassiopeia. Is this replay bugged? What's going on here? Oh, no, it's just, okay, weird issue there. Leo, Cassiopeia. So, I like Cassiopeia in this, but uh, I don't, yeah, so uh, Orochi is going to try and debuff Corrosive Armor on Hancock. Will it work? I don't think it will. Who had first strike? Immunity. So, maybe, no, that's the Terra Space. That was the shield absorbing it. But, yeah, notice that the Cassiopeia didn't land. Let's see it again. There's the Menderbot going off. Okay, Menderbot doesn't heal to the end of the round. Taurus, Feral Strength. Remember, Corrosive uh, Armor is supposed to like hit you. It's like a debuff, and then it, it activates and it does damage to you. Uh, resistance! Look at that! Crack Chicken got the Resistance gear on. He, uh, he blocked two of the Feral Strengths. Gemini, okay. Awakening, okay. I don't know how I feel about the Tier 12 attack troops in the back, but that's fine. Uh, trying different things out. Cepheus doesn't land Hercules Protection, okay. I like Hercules against Feral Strength. I think that can't be debuffed the same way as... Oh, look at that heal go off. God, that's a big heal. Menderbot stacking up. But is the Feral Strength starting to wear him down? It's a longer replay, but I kind of want to see what happens here. Right? Feral Strength, Tear Space. Like it. Cepheus. Corrosive Armor. Corrosive Armor should have landed. Right? There it is. Okay, now that was the Tear Space. Oh, let's go back one more time. Watch slot two. Slot two, immunity on slot two. So the corrosive armor does land through Cassiopeia? For real? Interesting, interesting. Well, Hancock still beats defensive commanders. You know, no surprise there. We kind of expect that. But uh, interesting Orochi. I, li I like that. All right, home one versus flick my bean. <laughs> I was thinking, guys, um, I was looking at the demographics for people on YouTube, and... There are so few people under the age of 18. I wonder if those people are just lying. Like, can we turn this can we turn this channel back into a adult friendly themed channel where I can cuss a little bit and just have some fun? Cuz I feel like there's just 
it's so much easier to unwind and do the fireside chats if I could just kind of express myself with with the complete vocabulary of the English language and maybe some French. But um, anyway, anyway, I, I'm ruining people's replays here. They people put a lot of work into sending these replays. Most of them are pretty good. That's how they make this this uh, this this playlist. So if you want to send in a replay, uh, use the description below to email me uh, the link to the YouTube video. So upload it to YouTube, send me the link, uh, and I can put it in the playlist. But uh, Megatron's got a tier 12 micro march. Oh God, versus a Stella. Was this a server side? That was brutal, man. That was a lot of troops. Even if it was lower tier. Right, look at that. Thanks for watching. Very cool. How many? Oh, never mind. We won't go back. All right. Bad Nushi versus Costa. Uh-oh. Tier 2. Bad Nushi. Okay. Going against Tier 5, Tier 4. Is this, this looks like an auto garrison. This is, like, scary because this, this could be an auto garrison and we could be literally watching someone die. This could be a murder. This could be a zeroing right here on the spot. You know, I was thinking about this. I watch a lot of StarCraft, right? Like, I'm a big esports guy. Not big, but I watch Star. I've been around, okay? And uh, one of the things is, like, a lot of games have their terminology, right? Like nine pooling and just I don't know smurfing. Like you don't really have that use. The we don't have a lot of that in Ark of War. We have zeroing, killer of gods versus old vet. Hold on, low risk Hancock. We've seen this a thousand times. Sorry, sorry, but anyway, I want to go on my rant here. <laughs> Is we don't we don't have enough slang. Like we got bad Titans Club, right? Uh, we've got uh, a zeroing. That's like a popular thing. We got speed marching. We got auto garrisoning. These aren't necessarily like mainstream arc of war terms um, i would like to make a glossary of those terms because i'd like to incorporate them more into the channel not necessarily as like memes but they are kind of memes right they're like inside jokes everyone knows the terminology and i think like that's one of the fun parts of watching like uh, starcraft or, or any esports if you start knowing what the the terms are you almost feel like more in depth of it and i need to do a better job of that i do i feel like i owe it to the community and my channel to incorporate more of the game glossary and terminology. So if anyone has a glossary going, they want to help me get it started, email me. We'll put that together because uh, I think it's useful and it's fun and adds a cool element. All right, Odin versus Ahmed. Uh, well, this is obvious. Tier 12 defense troops on the right aren't going to do much at all, right? Because breakdown's going to break right through it. This is brutal, dude. Odin's just going to wreck him, man. He's the, Vega has a heal, right? So Vega's heal can maybe give him some value shockwave no it's level 30 shockwave you're done dude this fake ahmed you're dead dude what what heal could he possibly have reinhardt's heal it's not going to work against Vega. energy armor energy armor that's the thorns right that's rockets thorns i mean not the worst but dude you're gonna get you're gonna get you gotta have damage on vega you gotta hit hard right so let's just fast forward it I mean, there you go. That's why we run tier 12 HP or tier 12 attack troops on Vega, right? I mean, you should put tier 12 attack troops at least in the back, right? Because, like, they just hit harder and, yeah, they don't have tear space, but you're not relying on tear space. All right, wow, we're running right through this replay of the week. Replay number nine. We got to pick a winner. Uh, let's see. We got a Russian player. It's 45. Interesting. Uh, verse, okay, so tier two versus tier nine. Wow, tear, or tier suppression is just not a thing anymore, man. Time bombs, destructive power. Misses. Here comes the hit. I, I really like Lady with the best offense. You've really got to put defense gear on her and run her with Black's the best offense because she's so powerful. All right, Gemini, destructive power. Yeah, Lady and B should be like the big defense. Um, well, the big, oh, I guess kind of a defense comm because you put the defense gear on her and she's really hard to kill. And then she uses that. Annihilator Ray, interesting. Uses that to uh, do massive damage. So Flash Cannon is the skill. Is that right? What level is that? Is this server side level 10 flash cannon god what is flash cannon uh what skill is that is that one of like albert's skills it's not a good skill otherwise i'd have known it anyway nice little lady and beast low i say low risk but there's a lot of tier two and tier one i'd rather heal the tier nine i think at this point because yikes that's a uh, brutal but um i mean rock with high tier that was like an auto garrison what was that that was a mess 45 takes out tier nine yeah okay cool Colonel Hogan versus uh, Adrian. Oh, God. It's been a while since we've seen a Colonel Hogan replay. Counter move. Persis, hold on. This could be big. Counter move. Counter move. Ten times. Or he does a hundred, a thousand times damage. Okay, hold on. This could be super big. I don't think counter moves stack, though. Here's the backstab. Watch the backstab damage. Boom. Uh, well, it's not. It's supposed to be good. Uh, tear space. Wings of Eternity. Look at that. Wings of Eternity. Going. He's already got the counter move. I want to see the counter move hit. It's going to hit with the equivalent of 250 troops. It's not going to one-shot. Unless it's a pure glass cannon build, but it doesn't look like it. 
Man, look at that Wings of Eternity. Colonel Hogan getting value. Oh my God. Counter move again. All right, here it goes. Here goes another Wings of Eternity, I mean. <laughs> Virgo. Virgo. Perseus. So he's not even going to take any damage. What? I wonder if that nullifies the counter move damage. Perseus. I forget. Perseus is not... Wait, here it comes. Wait. Ah! How many times in a row? Oh, he's getting Andromeda triggers. <laughs> Wings of Eternity Andromeda goes off enough. Look at that. How many times is he going to just go... Because look at this. I mean, how many... He started with 1777. He's only killed 17, right? Like, he's not actually killing that many. Oh, I want to see that counter move hit. What if the counter move stacked? That would be sick. No, that'd be broken. All right, let's see it. Come on. Wonderful Andromeda triggers, though. My God. Unbelievable. When Dragon Slayer finally lands a, or gets to attack, the counter move's going to go off, and the Pisces... It's not Perseus. Is it, it's not Pisces, right? God, Colonel Hogan, what are you doing with this Huberian? I'm so interested. Perseus Prayer. No, what's Perseus Prayer? Is that the new Frost Armor one? Hold on a second. Gemini, best offense. Shockwave, here we go. Okay, rebound, 1750. Only kills two. The Tear Space does it, though. Oh. Oh, what a letdown. The Tear Space does the... Oh, oh, look at that. Hold on, Hoodoo, back at it. Kills... 75,000 ends up blasting uh, the 350 tier 9 and a bunch of tier 1. Dude, nice hoodoo. Little death rattle action going on. Uh-oh, Sky Bear. Is that a koala? All right. Uh-oh, we've seen this before. Hancock, low risk march, got to be Swee. And it's tier 11 versus tier 11, but the tier 11 walkers can Swee the tier 11 infantry. Right? Because that tier 11 does... Tier 11 is weird like that. What, look at the SWE, guard, a SWE chart if you haven't figured that out yet. I have it online available. Just message me and I'll send it over. But uh, we know what's going to happen, right? Hancock wins. Easy peasy limit squeezy. Ooh, that's a lot of tier 11 to lose server side. 100, 240? Yeah, that is not fun to lose. Nice little replay there. All right, what do we got next? Slaughter. Feral strength. Okay. No... Okay, no, uh, no shockwave. I was looking for the shockwave. Who puts a ranger in slot one into the modern me meta? That's crazy. Okay, <sighs> freaking the X. It, it wouldn't be replay of the week if I didn't have a replay of the X losing. Just as a reminder, the X is bad. Use Stella. And you're like, well, what if I already use Stella? You don't need an X. You build Hubarian or Plasma or Gilly. Don't build another X. But what about if I defend my, my arc and they attack me with one ranger and I get first strike and bloodthirst and I just kill them before they ever get an attack. Yes, nerd. Yes, you can do that. But you're better off using a one-slot bus and actually hitting them hard because you're going to score more value. You're not trying to win the fight and and, and, and barely f kill a few. You want to kill everything. Defend yourself in Dragon Slayer. If they send one ranger at you, you shockwave everything else. Nerd. <laughs> Where's that guy in the comments? Find that guy in the comments. Uh, every once in a while. All right, all right. Moving on. Replay 14, Bullet with Butterfly Wings. How it, That's so poetic. War Machine versus Gaga. Uh, Gaga, what a what a name. All right, Nonviolent Resistance. Yeah, yeah. Bullet, Mino Particle. Wings of Eternity. Wings of Eternity Ghost Cannon. That's what we're looking for. Wings of Eternity Ghost Cannon. This is the bullet build for the free-to-play low-end players that just want to score value with Ghost Cannon and not lose high tier or not tech up to high tier. You just do the pure accuracy build. Get some Mino Cannon, though. Come on. Doesn't it lower, increase your accuracy? I thought it was somewhat useful. I don't think I ever leveled mine up past 50, but... Yeah, I mean, listen, scoring points with Tier 1, always a good thing. Not a lot of points. And, and you know, Metacrystal Healing makes it not as punishing. But, um, hey, if you got to do something with your account, you know, Wings of Eternity Bullet is not a bad choice. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Sauron Tier 9 versus Octomus' Tier 7. Is this an auto garrison? Uh oh, uh oh. Notice how the tier nine doesn't hit very hard yet. It's just a matter of time. Wings of Eternity, Feral Strength, still hitting for fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. It's nothing with tier nine, but he's probably got pure defense gear on. You got to put some attack gear on him. Oh, there's seventy four thousand Gemini. Uh, that's oh, the Wings of Eternity doesn't hit very hard. The second hit of Gemini hits hard. That's right. Okay. That shield, man, it's absorbing those hits. That's a lot of tier 7 to absorb that hit, but the feral strength is coming. Dude, where is his feral strength? There it is. Oh, starting to hit a little harder. All right, we're going to have to fast forward this. This is going to be a long one. 
Oh, it's already done it for us. All right. Well, you know what happens. Tier 7 eventually falls. Low risk tier 9 march. I like it. I mean, listen, Hancock's the, the flavor of the season. Everyone's running one. You have to run a Sweetcock. God, why did that name pick up? Overdrive hunting. Overdrive. Oh, Raging Skippy doing the King Kid build. This is what I was talking about earlier with Lady and the Beast. Like King's Mind's Eye is 100% trigger rate. Uh, Lady and Beast is 80%. So that's, And then instead of using... Um, and then you use Overdrive instead of the best offense, right? Overdrive... Uh, right, because uh, what was I thinking of? Uh, Cerberus, Cerberus, Cerberus. No, no, it only works on King and Kid. Anyway, Overdrive works on the destructive power, which is absurd. But um, that kind of went too fast. Uh, Uriel's Elf versus Talon's Hancock. I mean, there's no reason why this Elf isn't going to win, right? I can't swee that. Steam Cannon. Yeah, this is, this is a beatdown. This must have been server side. Hold on, why is this two minutes long? The tear space alone should rip through him. Yeah, uh, he's not swinging. Like, you know, it's not sweet. What's going on here? Why? Why was this submitted to me? Let's double check the gear here. Yeah, standard, standard. Okay, maybe just say out of awakened defense, because the tear space kills right through him. But wow, he hit really hard. Whoa, look how many troops he loses in slot three. Low risk Hancock without Sweeze still triggered enough feral strength to get a huge, a huge bop off on Elf. Wow, dude, that's impressive. Here it comes, watch. Okay, zero damage. Gemini, feral strength. Here comes the hit, 1088. My God, my God, look how many he's killing, even with the heal. Unbelievable. How come the curse isn't killing him? There's enough troops there. Why is the curse not killing him? I feel like this is bugged. Something's not right here. Wow. Dude, huge hit. Talon, getting it done, man. Well done. All right, replay 18. Wow, this freaking time is going so fast. All right, AD versus CMT. Dragon Slayer versus Dragon Slayer. One slot bus. Whoever gets to go first wins. There you go. Was that server side? It looks like it, huh? Oh, well. Nice shot. All right, last replay. Then we got to pick a winner. Megatron versus Megatron's Dragon Slayer versus Hancock. Man, it's really all the new commanders, right? You see, you see a lot of like. There's a lot of great builds out there. The Stella Mysterious Wind build. I'm sorry, Stella. Of, uh, oh God, what is it? Um, uh, Mysterious Blades. No, uh, yeah, it might be it. Dual Blades. Uh, it's very, very good build. But we're gonna start seeing that in the playoffs. Friday, I'm gonna live stream. We're gonna show off a lot more playoff uh, replays. And then um, hopefully get eyes back on the meta and see what's really going on. We know we know Dragon Slayer one slot bus defending your arc is a big deal. Uh, we know Sweetcock is a big deal. Uh, it seems like Rogers has fallen out of favor, but um, Elves, Dragon Slayers, Hancocks, Gillies, Tank Stellas, they really kind of run the show. I'm not seeing too many. I'm not seeing as many pick tours as I'd like to see, but uh, we'll see. Hey, tune in Friday. Hit the bell icon below if you want to notify when I, get notified when I go live. And then last replay, Stella with the Sleep Bomb. I like this build. Wings of Eternity, Sleep Bomb, very defensive. Uh, Dual Blades is definitely better because it hits two slots instead of one. Just triggers half as much, but you can hit the back row, which is a pretty big deal. Uh, Sagittarius, Sleep Bomb. Look how look, low risk. Stella on the left. Sleep. It, it, it just hits so hard. Infantry hits so hard. It's worth always having the smaller infantry com. Well, we can fast forward this. We know what's going to happen. It's going to be a lot of Wings of Eternity, and, and hopefully Stella on the left outscores. Because you got to remember, Stella relies on guaranteed hit gems, right? So if the Stella on the right doesn't have Sagittarius or Gemini or gets unlucky or just keeps... Oh, there it is. If she just keeps getting hit by Andromeda, she can't go. So, like, first strike is so important. So important in a Stella versus Stella fight. Especially well, any shutdown commander fight. Generally speaking, defending commanders get, like, a 50% win increase. That's kind of what I found in my studies. All right, let's pick a winner of Replay of the Week. What do you guys think? Hmm. I'm giving the replay to Uriel. I think it's Uriel's replay, but I just love the fact that we have a Hancock replay where he doesn't even have Swe gear. He's outnumbered, outgunned with an army that should not trade favorably against Elf. And even though Elf is steam cannoning and healing through the hits, even in just one round, he has enough Feral Strength, Wings of Eternity triggers so that in the very last slot, in the very last turn or round of attacks, look at this. He's already killed like 200 units. Then he kills another 500 right there. 700 units of tier 12. And he risked what, like 80 units of tier 9? 
Talon, you win replay of the week. Congratulations. All right, guys, my name is Mel. Thanks for watching. Like I said, uh, Galactic Battle Playoffs coming Friday. Tune in. Hit the bell icon. Subscribe to the channel. Should we start doing Eve Echoes content? I think I feel like Arc of War views and players are still here. We haven't really lost much to it. And I, I'm ready. I finally have the time to dig into Eve Echoes. The question is, is do we want to? I guess we'll find out.